following is a presentation of the Pro Wrestling Report. Informative, entertaining, and real since 1998. Welcome to PWR Be The Booker, the only way to preview pro wrestling pay-per-view events with the booker man himself, David Hero. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report. Be the booker for TNA Victory Road, which is this Sunday on pay-per-view. Damian Nelson along with David Hero. And let's get right to the action. The first matchup we're going to talk about is for the X Division Championship. It's Austin Aries, the champion, defending against Zima Ayan. Interesting X Division match. You got Zima Ayan, the guy that put Jesse Sorensen on the shelf, against Austin Aries, a guy that is now elevating himself up to the main event upper card in TNA Wrestling. Talk about a coin flip. If I'm booking this match, if he's already on his way to main eventing with Bobby Roode somewhere down the road against Sting, you got to definitely put the belt on Zima Ion. How can you not capitalize on the tragedy that happened to Jesse Sorensen? If this guy can't win the X Division Championship after breaking somebody's neck, then where does he go after this? Damn near broke my neck. I'm just saying, Zima Ion, if I'm booking this pay-per-view, is going to leave the X Division champion. The Knockouts Championship on the line as the champion, Gail Kim, defends against Madison Rain. Another interesting match because both of them are almost at the same level. Has Gail Kim been an effective Knockouts champion? Kind of hard to say. Madison Rain is a tremendous antagonist. She does a great job. Who, get, who needs the belt more right now? I think Gail Kim might because the fans haven't really booed her as much as they have Madison Rain. But at the end of the day, I just think Madison Rain has what it takes to become the Knockouts champion and cause more problems the longer program with Gail Kim. The Tag Team Championships on the line as Samoa Joe and Magnus defend their newly won Tag Team Championships against the endorsed Crimson, who teams with Matt Morgan. And the super friend, Matt Morgan. Let's not forget that. But let's face it, Crimson and Matt Morgan are on a collision course of a feud. They're blaming each other for everything. There's no way they're going to kiss and make up and become the new tag team champions. Not that kind of show, Dave. Right now, Joe and Magnus just might be one of the most entertaining and efficient tag teams in all of wrestling. Kurt Angle, one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Hardy. This event, one year after Jeff Hardy's unfortunate situation last year. Going to be a great match. Kurt Angle is a wrestling general. He is going to take Jeff Hardy and go through everything imaginable. This match could very well be a show stealer. But at the end of the day, Kurt Angle needs to beat Jeff Hardy because I just can't imagine them doing a one match and being done, especially going into lockdown the next month. Let Kurt Angle cheat to win on Jeff Hardy, sets up a cage match going into lockdown in April. AJ and Anderson, Mr. Anderson, team up to take on the team of Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. Thank God Ken Anderson is finally back. We got points right here, Bromigo, and points there. Talk about four guys that know each other pretty well. Now, Daniels and Kaz have been getting the best of AJ for quite a while. AJ brings out Mr. Anderson. Anderson, you got to figure that this is a way to bring Ken back into the main picture of TNA Impact Wrestling. I really can't see Kaz and Daniels beating these two guys, but hey, it is TNA. You never know what's going to happen. But I like, what does that mean? I like AJ and Anderson to stand tall. Bully Ray takes on James Storm as James Storm is on his way into the next month at lockdown on pay-per-view, as we already know. These next two matches are very pivotal because these two matches are going to sell the lockdown pay-per-view in Nashville, Tennessee. If I have the pencil, or in this case, the orange marker for Be The Booker, James Storm is going to have a hell of a match with Bubba Ray. It's going to be a knockdown, drag-out fight. But at the end of the day, James Storm has got to go over strong on Bully Ray. It's important. He's going into the TNA World Impact Wrestling Heavyweight Championship title match at lockdown. He needs to go in with a full head of steam. The same way Bobby Roode has got to hit Sting with everything imaginable, including the kitchen sink, 
to go over strong on Sting. So you have two guys with a ton of steam going into their big cage match main event at Lockdown. TNA Victory Road this Sunday on pay-per-view. Can't say I disagree with any of these choices, which were the X Division Championship changes hands. Zima Ayan walks out with Austin Aries' X Division Championship. A brand new Knockouts Champion crowned in Madison Rain, defeating Gail Kim. Jo Samoa Joe and Magnus retain the TNA Tag Team Championship over Crimson and Matt Morgan, who are on a collision course for one another. Kurt Angle gets the victory over Jeff Hardy. AJ and Anderson get the victory over Kaz and Daniels. James Storm getting a victory over Bully Ray. And Sting suffers defeat at the hands of the TNA champion, Bobby Roode. TNA Victory Road this Sunday on pay-per-view. I don't see four letters that say DWHS on this board, David Hero. Will there be? Uh, should the there be? I mean, every match is a coin flip. But for me, this has to happen. There it is. This one really has to happen for Bobby Roode. David Hero has spoken. Bobby Roode wins TNA Victory Road this Sunday on pay-per-view. Don't miss tomorrow. It's a very special edition of the Pro Wrestling Report. Prime time as we uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It's all about St. Patrick's Day. I understand we have a meeting with Paul before the show. Mr. Fix tomorrow. He, yeah. What he, the heck's that all about? I don't get memos with all reasons on them to show up at a meeting. Bro... I don't know. For that one, this is Damian Nelson saying thank you for tuning in to be the booker for TNA Victory Road.